in this class we are going to see about the producer consumer and decomposer and food chain consumers organisms which cannot produce their own food need to eat others organism as food these organisms are called consumers all animals are consumers as they cannot pr produce their own food consumers are called heterotrophs there are many types of consumers and we can classify them into specific groups depending on the food they eat they consume these are herbivorous carnivorous omnivorous and decomposers herbivorous animals which eat plants or plant products example cattle deer goat and rat carnivorous animals that eat other animals example lion tiger frog and owl omnivorous animals that eat both plants and animals example human dog and crow decomposers microorganisms that obtain energy from the chemical breakdown of dead organisms both plant and animal they break complex organic substance into simple organic substances that goes into the soil and are used by plants example bacteria and fungi food chain in a forest deer eats grass and in turn we know tiger eat deer in any ecosystem there is a chain like relationship between the organism that live there this sequence of who eats whom in an ecosystem is called as food chain it describes how organisms get energy and nutrients by eating other organisms a food chain shows the relationship between producer example grass and consumers example deer goat cow and tiger example for food chain in a terrestrial ecosystem that is grassland ecosystem the plant is eaten by deer and deer is eaten by tiger next example for food chain in an aquatic or lake ecosystem aquatic plants are eaten by aquatic insects and this aquatic insects is eaten by larvae and larvae is eaten by fish energy flow the food chain begins with the energy given by the sun sunlight triggers photosynthesis in plants the energy from the sun is stored in the plant parts when the grasshopper eats the grass 
द एनर्जी फ्लोस फ्रॉम द ग्रास टू ग्रास होपर फ्रॉग गेट्स एनर्जी बाई ईटिंग ग्रास होपर दिस एनर्जी इज ट्रांसफर्ड टू अ क्रो वेन द फ्रॉग इज ईटन बाई अ क्रो दस वी कंक्लूड द प्राइमरी एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ लिविंग थिंग इज मेड बाई प्लांट्स दट इज बाई फोटो सिंथेसिस द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स रिड्यूस द एक्सक्रीटर एंड द डेड बॉडीज ऑफ एनिमल्स इन टू प्राइमरी सिंपल कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड पुट्स दम बैक इन टू द सॉयल it is this material that help the plants to grow thus we can see that there is a cycle of materials from primary producers to highest level predators then back to the soil tropic levels we see that energy is passed along from the producer to the consumer but there are three different consumers in any food chain how can we distinguish different types different consumers animals that eat plants are primary consumers animals that eat primary consumers are called secondary consumers animals that eat the secondary consumers are the tertiary consumers there may even be larger predators that eat tertiary consumers they are called as the quaternary consumers each of these level in the food chain is called a tropic level organisms uses up to 90 percentage of the food energy for its life process only about 10 percentage of energy goes into new body cells and will be available to the next animal when it gets eaten this loss of energy at each tropic level can be shown by an energy pyramid a rat eats grains and in turn we know snake eats rat now snake is a prey for peacock and in turn peacocks are easily prey for the tigers and leopards now think do tigers have any natural predators in all food chains there is a top level predator that has no natural predators in an aquatic ecosystem there are no natural predators for alligator in a forest there are no natural predators for tigers importance of food chain learning food chain help us to understand the feeding relationship and interaction between organism in an ecosystem understanding the food chain also help us to appreciate the energy flow and nutrient circulation in an ecosystem this is important because pollutions impacts the ecosystem the food chain can be used to understand the movement of toxic substance and their impacts